A boy just beginning, 25 years of age, baggy green number 408. His father's best mate. There it is, a hundred on debut. Son, brother, fighter, friend, inspiration. In the north coast town of Maxville, where the river runs right through, came a boy with a talent that his father only knew. He learned to wave the willow from the pitch and thistle plough, with his father and his brother. been dumped. Edged and gone, yeah. Form from Brisbane, Phil Hughes was out early. Alligator is third victim. Oh, got him, wow, well, how about that? 115 when Phil Hughes fell in the 23rd over. Hughes is getting on with the job. Missing test selection so far this summer, he's been batting well for the Blues, giving a glimpse Collectors could see it, Mr. Bano, he could hear Whispers of another dawn, the crowd began to cheer The young man got the nod, when Hayden couldn't stand He flashed that cheeky grin, as he shook the captain's hand by a shaky start, the boy soon found his feet with the tongue in both his hands as the trophies fell to feet. And for all that they threw at him, he couldn't hold the battle down. This is where he played his last game, where his spirit lives forever. Maxville, so proud. But most of all, he loved his family. Every day he spoke to them, 
no matter where he was in the world. A good guy who fought for everything he ever got. And then fought some more, who never gave up. In death, he brought the sporting world together, the cricket community, to make us all laugh again. Cheeky little bugger. He'd be up there smiling on us now, wanting us to be happy, batting as well as he ever did. We loved him and always will.